Welcome to episode two of my One Chunk Iron Man. But it's leagues, and leagues is fucking mental. Okay, so in the first episode, we got the progress up to here. So we've unlocked these four chunks, and we've got these skills. So we managed to get the 60 wood cutting, 60 fire making, 60 fletching all in Lumbridge, and then a handful of other things. Um, one of the things we were doing in that series was we were polling every single decision that we made, and I'm not going to do that anymore because I don't think it really added much to the to the video, and I also think it slowed down the progress a lot, both just waiting for people to choose and also people choosing chunks. like like They're, they're not as informed on what the grind is going to be as I am, so it, it was slowing things down by doing things that kind of stop me getting to more interesting content and doing more leagues tasks and this kind of thing. So that's one of the things that I'm going to stop. Uh, I'm just going to do what I think and choose the chunks in an order that I think makes the most interesting video. And then the second thing is that people wanted me to use kind of the fast travel uh, options in the Globetrotter pendant as rollable chunks. And they also wanted me to kind of use like uh, travel things that you can do both ways. So things like the, I don't know, like uh, the, the canoes and things like this, right? Um, so I think that works. Um, I'm, maybe I'll just stick to the pendant. I think that's probably a bit neater actually, because it kind of actually gives me, um, a list of what I can, can't choose if you know what I mean. So maybe that's actually the best way because it will automatically cross out everything that I can't do forever. So yeah. And it also gives me pretty much like every location in the game, right? I don't need any more than all this stuff. So yeah, I'm going to set it so that the chunk map can go to all of these different options uh, and then I guess I'll pick a chunk and we can get started. So I've come into the chunk picker and I have ticked all the boxes of tasks that we can teleport to or chunks rather that we can teleport to and it's a lot pretty much all of them so the first one what we're going to do is actually this one and just knock out the cook's assistant get that done get that free cooking xp tick off these annoying quest tasks that have been building up and uh, yeah, hopefully roll something a bit more interesting after that. I think pushing into Varrock is probably a good move because it will unlock us quite a lot of, of potential tasks to start getting some proper leagues points. So uh, yeah, let's go for this fella. We shall calculate the tasks. And yeah, all there is is well. Oh, and Sheep Shearer, that's cool. Okay, so we just need to do Sheep Shearer, Cook's Assistant, and then Start Recipe for Disaster. Cool. Okay, so let's quickly grab the unlock on this chunk. There we go, and we can go in and get started. Okay, so we grab the ingredients for the cook's assistant, and we grab the balls of wool for Fred the farmer. Uh, I talk too much during the tree. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, here we go. Here's the quest reward. And how much crafting XP do we get? Decent little amount, and 10 points as well. Good stuff. And I believe this is all the stuff for the cake. And I also need to make just some dough, just one, so that I can cook it on this range, which is also a chunk task. Hopefully, I'll, I won't be able to do it until I've uh, handed in the stuff for the quest, right? Cool, there we go. Get the cooking XP. 2,100 cooking XP, very nice. And then we should be able to cook the bread on there as well, which is also a task, lovely. And it's a lumberish task. Right, I reckon that's probably the chunk done, though. So if we look at the task list, oh, hang on, got my regions wrong, haven't I? Uh, oh, God, I'm messing it all up. Okay, right, can I fix this? Yes, I can. Come on. Uh, okay, there we go. Right, so cook's assistant done. Well, I haven't started that, but that'll be light work. Uh, and that's done as well. So, right, I'll just do that, and then we can roll a new chunk. Cool, so we started recipe for disaster, and now we just need to go and choose another chunk. Let's go. Oh, I'm 99% sure I had my region wrong for that as well, didn't I? <laughs> okay, right. What should we pick next? I think I'm going to choose this chunk here. So we've done that. Uh, I think I'm just going to pick this chunk here, which should probably be nothing uh, for me. Indeed. So that's nothing. And then I'm going to choose this one, but I can't actually get into the desert component of it. 
Um, so that's probably going to bring up, yeah, so I can't actually get into that desert there because it's part of the desert. So I need to backlog those, backlog that, backlog that, backlog that, backlog that, uh, backlog that, backlog that, backlog, oh God. Okay, I can definitely do that a better way. I'll I'll sort that. <laughs> I'll sort that off screen. Um. So right, what is this task though? Let's have a look. Uh, mine some iron ore at Alcrid Mine. So yeah, again, can't do that. So the next one we're going to unlock is this one. So I think this is going to be the best for us because what it's going to do is get us access to iron which is pretty big. So this task here is all, yeah, it's that one, it's that same one. So, okay, here we go. We've got some Barak tasks here. Mine some iron in the Southeast Barak mine. And oh, we also need to give a dog a bone. So I'm guessing there's gonna be a dog roaming around. In fact, that's just such a nothing task and it'll be so much easier once we get slightly higher up. So what I'll do is I'll just go mine the ore and then we'll do the dog task once we kind of get a bit more access because I think what it's actually I want I mean is it reckons I can get the dog inside the wall which obviously I can't so yeah we'll, we'll, we'll go and crack those out and then hopefully get back to rolling some more chunks right let's unlock all those chunks that we just unlocked so it was these three and now we can go up to this mine here and there is iron there for us to go and mine so there is the gate in the way that means we can't get into the desert and do all that mining that's coming up in the chunk picker. So I'll backlog that in a kind of efficient way. But what we can do is pull up to the north over here and grab ourselves a singular iron ore. Look at all these high levels around. <laughs> As you can tell, I have not played leagues for a couple of days. So uh, yeah, I'm way behind, but I'm hopeful that we can catch up as much as we can. There is the easy achievement. What having these iron rocks does as well is makes any incidental smithing grind that we need to do infinitely easier. And also the fact that I've been away for a couple of days. Oh, we like to see that. What should I use that on? That's very interesting, actually. I don't know what's a difficult skill to train necessarily. Uh, herb law might be a good one. Agility might be a good one, although that's probably pretty easy with the drain, of course. I guess I'll chuck it in uh, in herb law and see how it does. I think I'm probably gonna get 300 XP for it. Oh, 240 XP, sorry. But we've got a few levels. Um, but yeah, having this iron ore makes training mining and smithing for if we need to get to level 70 for Addy ore or anything like that, a lot, lot, lot easier. So I'm very happy to have that ticked off. So the next task that I, uh, the next unlock that I want to grab is this Draenor one here, and the reason for that is that we have access to the Draenor Agility course. It's probably not going to bring it up as a chunk rack because it doesn't know that I've got the ten Agility. It wants me also to start Vampire Slayer. Um, so what I'm going to do is go to Draenor course, train up to the level that you need for the Varric course, which I can't remember what it is, and uh, yeah, go from there. So it turns out the level for the Varak course is level 30, but that should be light work uh, with the eight times XP boost that we have at the moment. We don't need too many tasks until we can unlock a new area, which will be pretty cool. Uh, I'm not entirely sure which areas I want to unlock because uh, I was kind of going to planning on brilliant start. I was kind of planning on sort of leaving that up to the audience, but now I've decided to take that aspect of these videos away because no one really seemed bothered. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to have to actually make some choices, which makes things a bit more tricky. Um, what I would be interested in from you guys is what do you reckon is best? Should I take the range relic, the mage relic, or the melee re re relic? Melee, mage, and range. Um, I genuinely don't know what's going to be good and what's not. Um, I mean, they're obviously all going to be broken as fuck. Uh, I've seen a lot of people pick mage and not a lot of people pick melee. Uh, okay, so that was a task. Very cool. Level 14 agility. Yeah, this level 30 is going to get knocked out quickly. Uh, but I'd be interested to know what you think. I'm almost certainly not going to get to do that in this video. Get to that level because I think that's the tier 4 relic. Uh, but we might get an area unlock, so yeah, maybe, I mean, I might have to make a decision sooner than that, but I'd be interested to hear what you guys think is best anyway. So many tasks. Obtain the Mark of Grace as a task as well. Only 10 to go until the next area. And that'll be new rollable chunks as well somewhere else. Oh, God, that's so exciting. Um, probably should do some research on what's, what's a good area, right? I mean, I'm guessing they're all probably pretty good. Uh, it just kind of depends what route I want to take, so... 
That's going to be exciting. Ten tasks to go. That'll probably get knocked out very quickly. See, who knows most of these things are tasks? Ten laps is 40 points. Who knew? I, I, I feel like people must have a better way of looking up what the tasks are than I do, which is just to go into here and look at the task. Because this system, you know, looks pretty, but it's pretty poor for uh, for being able to actually filter what... Like, you can filter it, but it's got no, like, check-off feature or anything. Oh, it's just it's just difficult to know. Uh, so I need to kind of find a better way to do that. People probably just use the wiki, don't they? That's probably what they do. Okay, here we go. 30 agility coming in, which means that we can now unlock our next chunk, which is going to be Varrock. So, as previously described, Chunk Picker is God, and therefore Chunk Picker doesn't reckon we have agility yet, and therefore, as far as the kind of chunk tasks are concerned, we don't. Uh, so, we're going to unlock this, and it's not even going to tell us to go and do the Varrock course, I presume. It is going to tell... Oh, that's a rune store, is it? Ah, oh, that won't be too bad, I guess. Uh, although I don't have any money which could be a problem. <laughs> uh, okay, right, I'm going to need to come up with a way to get 62 magic on the cheap. Uh, okay, that shouldn't be too bad. I imagine I can just use mind runes and get, like, a lot of XP per hour. Uh, okay, cool. So main things are go and do some agility and get some combat stats, I guess. Okay, so let's find, uh, let's unlock this chunk. Okay, there we go. I presume actually in this chunk I'd probably have to start this quest. Uh, let's just go do that real quick. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, leave me alone. Yeah, start the quest. Okay, cool. Right, I won't be able to go and do that. I might be able to get the cadaver berries actually, actually but I won't be able to go and talk to Juliet. So let's go and do an agility course lap. Right, let's go. Okay, hopefully completing this lap is a task. It is only 10 points though, but crucially only 8 to go until the next area. Uh, next thing I need to do now, I guess, is find a decent way to train our combat stats up and get ourselves a sword and also a decent way to get some money. Which, looking at this map, uh, isn't really coming to me immediately, I must say. Uh... Cows is presumably pretty poor money. I mean, maybe the... I was going to say the Dark Wizards, but I don't have access to those. Uh, making iron stuff, maybe, is okay. I mean, we've got an anvil now, so we could. Uh, that would be an annoying thing to get to, though, seeing as we can't run down here. <laughs> uh, so, okay, that would be pretty bad. Uh, uh, is there dark wizards? There's a dark wizard over here. They might drop runes or something, maybe. Uh, Master Farmer, that's not going to get me anything useful, is it? Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm drawing some blanks. Oh, maybe the hams, ham stuff might be decent cash? Okay, I'm sure we can come up with something. 500 total level, flying through it, nearly 30 attack, which will get us the Addy Sword, which will make other combat training a lot easier. And yeah, the magic is uh, is a bit worrying to me, because that is a lot of magic that we've got to train, but it should be fine with leagues. It should be. Should be. And there is the 30 attack that we needed. Nice getting the bone, like the really high priority people bone, like that it just is nice. Uh, what I'm going to do is chuck these iron ores into the furnace, grab ourselves some iron bars, and then smith some stuff and just kind of see what it sells for in the general shop in Varrock. I think that might be a decent money maker. We don't really need that much GP. I reckon it's probably about 15, 20k, something like that. So really not too bad. Not having the super heat is going to hurt the XP on that. Uh, and then, yeah, I just need to go to Varrock and have a little... Little look at what we've got available. Kill me. Uh, have a little look at what we've got available. Oh, you guys have probably been screaming at me this whole time. So I've got some crap in the bank that I thought I'd try and sell. But I've got wood cutting. I've got 60 wood cutting. So I can make like U longbows. I mean, I can't uh, get the string for them, but U longbows sell for loads. Right. So the money's not going to be a problem. Cool. That's going to be pretty simple to get the money for the mage then. And then I'll be honest, I probably got or nearly got the gear to do some splashing so i could just get that at super fk nice 
Cool, right, let's see how much GP we can liquidate with this stuff. So the Emerald sell for a couple hundred, the Ruby for 400, those presumably for 100 each. Iron plate body, not too bad. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I just sent my steel pickaxe into the fucking ether, didn't I? Oh, that's so lame. Right, how much do they sell for? 32 each. Oh, not bad at all. How much does a warp balls of wool? Nothing. Longbow. 24 for an uncut longbow. It's not even bad, is it? Uh, the jade's not bad. We'll sell the steel battle axe because you don't need that anymore. And the steel mace. Right, we've got 8,500 GP. Let's go grab ourselves a... In fact, we'll sell our mithril battle axe because we're going to go buy ourselves a uh, adamant sword over here. Um, and then we should... I might... Ooh, what should I do? Um, I guess what I'll do is I'll take my axe and go and... Uh, Go and cut some trees, cut some logs, and, uh, oh, I can't do oak logs, actually, can I? Because, um, uh, not oak logs, I can't do yew logs, actually, because I can only cut them into arrow shafts. So I'll have to do willows, but that's all right. They'll still sell for a decent amount. Um, yeah, right, let's go do that. 40 points for equipping an adamant weapon. That's nuts! Oh, I'm kind of so glad I had to take a break for a couple of days because these uh, all the trees around Lumbridge were just getting absolutely annihilated on day one, and it was just it was just pandemonium. But now it's actually calm, and I can chill out and just do this nice and AFK. All right, let, time to see how much a full invent of Willow longbows sells for. So there's our full invent, nine thousand fledging XP. Easy as that. You, I'll never get bored of that, and it sells for seven hundred GP. Not too bad. I feel like maybe that's not excellent because I need to get about 30k GP. So, what? I need to do like 50 invents of this. Mm, no, less than that, about 30, 40, but it did take a little while to get a full invent. Um, okay, we'll, we'll do some more brainstorming. Oh, yeah, I said that was a task that I hadn't done in the last episode, didn't I? 100 willow logs as a task. Nice. So, that wasn't even a waste of time doing all that, even for the GP. Nice. I could probably cut down on the cost of this magic grind by claiming the runes from the magic. Fucking hell, they're stingy bastards, aren't they? I forgot you need to drop them all before asking. Oh my god. Right, fuck it, let's just go. I think I'll get more money out of these than I think I will. And I think I also am pretty close to unlocking a new area. And kind of a new relic as well. So, yeah, I'm just going to buy these runes. And, uh, yeah, it should be cheaper than in the main game because the stock doesn't deplete. So I'm just going to go with 12k, see what we can get, see what mage level we can get to, and then go from there. Okay, who knew that was a staff? So I bought my runes slightly wrong, which is annoying. But what we're going to do is I'm going to go to the Black Dragons in... Uh, in Xanaris, because I'm hoping that it'll be quite AFK, and also I might be able to just snipe like a rune longsword or something that I can sell for like 20k, and therefore my money will definitely be fine. Um, I should probably start doing clue scrolls at some point, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this egg, because uh, I think that's how you get into the dragon layer. Uh, I'll equip that stuff just because it looks better. And yeah, so what I need is the Draman Staff, got my Teleport to Lumbridge, that's fine. Chuck those in there, chuck that in there, chuck that in there. I've got my Teleport Pendant, got my Draman Staff. Is there anything else I should just have with me at all times? I don't think so. Right, let's go. I'm so, so far behind because I've not played for three days so i'm currently kind of post day one so i'd say not for a chunk man post day one this isn't too bad so think of this as my day two uh and i think you know we're doing a lot better than, than it looks like we are so what now i've got like five f four or five days in a row that i can oh whoops I need to have drama so, uh four or five days in a row that i can play so the progress should speed up quite a lot right there we go use it okay i think what do you do use an egg on that or is it a raw chicken oh fuck's sake Game knowledge week. Okay, it's definitely a raw chicken. Let's hope we can one hit it with the water strike. Sad. <laughs> right, I wouldn't be too surprised if going into here isn't a task. What do you mean? Huh? Don't tell me I've got to do some fucking quest that I've not done. <sighs> yes, you do. <laughs> okay, are there any other decent NPCs around here that would actually be worth killing? Because that's probably the best thing, because all the NPCs I've got on the surface are shite. 
All right, here is level 13 for Fire Strike, and now we're going to be training our Mage and Defense very, very quickly indeed, which is going to be very nice because I need to get 20 defense as a uh, chunk task and obviously 62 magic, which is going to take a bit longer. Um, yeah, I need to think of something better that I can kill, although maybe the free cooking XP from the beef and the free crafting XP from the uh, cowhide is decent. I think that's probably wrong there. <laughs> So one thing that I can knock out real quick because it is in my chunks is the Orlando Smith, uh, you know, complete the displays thing, which should get me a shitload of Hunter and Slayer levels, which hopefully will mean that I get some kind of task. Probably completing it will be some kind of task as well. Okay, right. I think that's every, everything. Let's see how many levels we get. There we go, 8,000, and we got a task done, which means we've unlocked a new area. Right, I need to have a look at uh, what I want to do and what area I'm going to pick. Let's go. Okay, there's one th if there's one thing that I know I want to do on these leagues, it is to solo necks. So, as Garnia feels like the right call, there's a lot of stuff here as well, which I imagine is a lot of relatively easy tasks, which will be good. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to pick as Garnia as the first unlock. And also, it doesn't really commit us to a combat style, right? Whereas if I pick like Mauritania, it basically commits us to picking melee. Or if I pick the desert, it basically commits you to picking, uh, picking magic and range for... Uh, for uh, either the you know the elf place or or Karend. So yeah, I'm gonna pick Asgarnia as the first one. So the first thing I need to do is actually teleport to Asgarnia because I need to check where I spawn in and see if that is like a task I want to commit to right now, like like you know after the chunk we're currently in, or I want to uh, I want to leave it for later because I need to see what's here. Okay, so it's just the dead center of Falador. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Okay, so I really want to get the next relic as quickly as possible. It's 200 points away, which isn't really too many. I can probably get it within the chunks that I have. I just need to look into what I need. Um, and Fire Sail would help me a lot in at this point because I could just buy as many runes as I like, right? So in this chunk, it would help me a lot. But I think Banker's Note is probably better overall. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I also think probably uh, the Ham hideout is the best place for me for now. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to shoot magic over these chairs. Though, based on that interaction, it doesn't seem like I... Oh, I can. Okay, perfect. So, I can kind of safe spot these dudes. I don't think I'll really need to. They're only level 12. Are they only level 12? It's rather higher than that. Okay, they're only level 12, so I probably don't need to. Um, but I think they'll actually drop some stuff that's relatively useful. You need the ham stuff for that quest line anyway. Uh, and I need to get a steel pickaxe back anyway, and I believe these guys actually drop it. So I think this is probably my best bet for the magic at the moment. Um, I'm not sure I'm I'm not sure if I should keep doing the magic. Um like on defensive or not. So obviously I get the magic level quicker if I didn't. But I would also be able to get a lot more combat levels if I stick with the defense, and I'm going to need the defense task at some point anyway. So my thought is probably stick on defensive, get the combat levels, and it'll be better in the long run, because I think you also get tasks for getting various combat levels, right? So yeah, I'll, I'll stick with that. Okay, at least we got our uh, steel pickaxe back. Uh, XP here, not too bad, getting about 120k per hour, so about two and a half hours to get to 62 magic, which isn't too bad. Um, but I feel like we could do better. <laughs> so um, I'm going to keep doing some research and hopefully we'll get some tasks knocked out whilst I do so. Right, so we're going to start knocking out some of these bullshit tasks. So let's locate with that. That's going to give us some points. We also need to get ourselves a guam from these men and women because that's a task as well. Uh, I need to mind, I just need to do loads of stuff. So I'm going to start knocking out some bullshit tasks, get ourselves that banker's note or whatever it is and uh, get started. So what we're going to do now is we're going to teleport to Varrock. Ah, fuck you, cunt. Sorry, that was a bit of a strong reaction for that. Uh, let's go to Varrock. And what we're going to do is 
hopefully, well, okay, pause. Oh, nice. We got that was a random task that I wasn't planning on getting, but we got an um, emerald whilst uh, mining iron ore. Not too bad. Would have been nice if that was a diamond, but, you know, we take the emeralds. Cool. That is a 40 point task, which is to mine 50 iron ore. Good stuff. Uh, only 130 points to go until we can get our next relic. Okay, there really are some stupid bloody tasks in leagues, and one of them is dance in a graveyard. So there is that. That's just ridiculous. I'm also going to go and cry in a wheat field in a second as well. And here we are to cry in the wheat. Let's go. Okay, easy stuff. What, yeah, what are these tasks? Honestly, ridiculous. Ridiculous. So one of the tasks we have to get in this chunk is 30 range, which isn't too bad because uh, there's a few tasks I can knock out in the way, which is uh, kill three chickens in six seconds, which I'm hoping I'll be able to do with the knives once we improve our range level a bit. And I also need to equip a maple short bow as a leagues task anyway. So shouldn't be too bad. And uh, hopefully this won't take too long. I'm sure it won't. Oh, and I need the feathers as well to do the Fletch 150 Iron Arrows task. So, yeah, hopefully this will be quick. And there is the kill six, uh, three chickens in six seconds task. Nice. That is good to get knocked out. Only needed 19 range for that, so not too bad. So 11 levels to go, and then we can move on from range for now. Right, there is 30 range. That was not too bad. Now we need to go, and what I want to do is chop some logs real quick okay there is the fletch 1000 arrow shafts task and i also need to fletch 25 oak stocks so i'm going to do that as well and there they are let's go sell them to the shop and then what we're going to do now is we're going to go to pura puro so as far as the chunk picker is concerned, we don't have access to Pura Pura because we obviously can't, we don't have a drive and stuff as far as chunk picker is concerned. So this is actually quite good because it means we can go and do some, in, get some interesting stuff from the implings. I'm thinking I should be able to get in there uh, because the 25 hunter that we got from the Varrett Museum is enough that we can actually catch some stuff in there. So not only is there definitely a task for catch a baby impling in Pura Pura, which I should be able to do with a with a net and uh, and a jar uh, that I get in Pura Pura, but I should also be able to get some other stuff from higher tier implings potentially that can actually kind of give us some more interesting loot that we could potentially sell to get some more money, to get some better magic, uh, to get some more runes. So yeah, this should be good for us. Okay, there is a baby impling, nice. So that is a task done. Why just so what level impling can I actually catch? Let's have a look. Uh, implings. Okay, so I can do up to young at the moment, so that's all right. Um, and then so I might just catch a bunch of young implings, see what I can get from them, and then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, cool. Right, so I quickly just need to smith some steel bolts unfinished. I think that should do it. There we go, medium task for that, and I've now got enough points to get a new relic. Good times, good times. So, yeah, relics, let's have a look. So, fire sale, very overpowered, coins and, you know, basically anything you can get from a shop you can get for free. So that is incredibly good for early training. Um, is it as good long term? I don't think so, you know. Um, so when I unlock this, okay, so I'm going to have to be in a bank. So the passive effect from just getting either of these is going to be getting uh, getting that teleport thing. Uh, last recall, essentially. Um, so that's going to be really good. I could just buy infinite runes. I could buy infinite food, you know, this kind of thing. But the banker's note is also very, very good for certain skilling methods. And crucially, I think it's just going to be very, very good for getting us through uh, some of the bossing we're going to have to do later, i.e. being able to use infinite supplies at things like Nex. I think doing Nex solos, at least in scuff gear, is going to be heavily dependent on the banker's note. So with that said, let's confirm the banker's note. And by confirm banker's note, I mean run to the bank and do it there. <laughs> Right, let's grab this thing. So relics, banker's note, select, confirm. 
Here we go, look at that, good stuff. Right, so we've got that teleport back thing, last recall, Crystal of Memories, that's what it's called. And there is the Banker's Note, fun stuff. That's just going to be a mainstay that we're going to keep on us from now on. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's go, in fact, so we need to buy a Maple Shortbow over here and equip it. And I also need to buy some stuff from here, but I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to uh, because I'm running low on fun. So let's buy that Maple Shortbow and equip that. That's a chunk task and a league task. And then I also need, let's see what the value is on these. Oh, I can't afford them yet. So I need to buy that and I also need to buy some black stuff and the mithril stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be a bit expensive, but it's going to be needed. So one thing that I thought about is there's actually a task to kill a guard, which I thought, oh, I've not got any in my chunk, but these guys are fairly close. I might be able to hit them if they wander close enough. Uh, okay, so I can hit it. Will he run over here though? No. Okay, so I can kill him, but I might just have to wait until he runs back the way. Uh, maybe I'll just kind of hit all of them that I can from here. So I'll probably get two attacks off, right? Oh, this one will come. Good stuff. Right, okay, so we can kill a guard. So that's going to be a nice task, and this might be a decent training place. Not entirely sure. I'm really lacking for, like, just NPCs that have a body. Like, every single NPC I've got is, like, a goblin or a man with, like, no uh, hit points, which is quite annoying. Uh, but there is a task, 10 points for that. Um, yeah, still struggling to find an NPC that's good to kill. So just knocking out some stuff. Let's speak to Aris and start Demon Slayer. There we go. We just bought the newspaper, which also gets us a chunk task. Cool, right, that's the quest started. And then I need to trade for Thessalia and browse her stall for another one. There we go. All right, is any of this stuff worth having? I can't go wrong with a blue skirt. Let's get a blue skirt and a cape. Why not? They look good. Um, okay, right. So I need to just go kill some stuff now. So if we pull up the chunk picker, we can tick off these two tasks. And I wielded that and I've done that. Where does it think I'm getting the blood rune from for this? Air runes. Okay, where's the blood rune? Dark wizard. Do they? Maybe they do. Maybe I should kill the Dark Wizards, actually. Because they're near Draenor, aren't they? Okay, so I can tick that off as well. So the only task we've got left is the 62 magic. But, right, let's go to Draenor, then. Um, have I got any food? That's the main thing. Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Right, let's go to Draenor. And then what we can do from there is try and kill... Sorry, it's a tricky to use sometimes uh go to drain or kill the dark wizards and they might drop us some useful runes as well which could speed up our training like if they drop nature if they drop bloods i assume they drop natures and stuff um and that could that could help us out right dark wizard level seven probably won't need food to kill them too much there's only two of them though hopefully they respawn quickly let's tag them all and see uh Oh, there's some guard market guards here. Interesting. Okay, Draenor is probably the place to do our training. Uh, okay, so that's a 10-point task as well, which is nice. Uh, he's not spawned back in yet. Hopefully he does soon. He also didn't drop any runes, which is a bit frustrating. Uh, okay, I kind of need to wait for them to spawn in, kill them again, and then that's how I'll know how long the respawn timer is on them. Okay, right, so these bad boys do actually drop pretty much every rune. They drop some decent quantities of other runes as well. They drop like 18 mind runes at a time, uh, 4 nature runes at a time, 5 chaos runes at a time, lore runes, cosmic runes, and then obviously the blood runes as well. So, yeah, this is decent. I think I'll, I'll, I'll stay at these for a bit. They've got a bit of a long respawn timer, which is annoying. Um, but they can drop me some decent stuff and they don't hit me too hard. So yeah, it should be, should be good. And then I can also, I'm thinking I might work in like a guard into the rotation to like kill two of these and one guard. And then these should have spawned back in by the time that's done. Or maybe I'll like add in chopping some willow logs or something like that. Cause I think I need to burn a hundred willow logs for a medium task. So yeah, in fact, thinking about it, that's what I'm going to do. Also, I'm not sure if I actually pickpocketed a Master for Farmer after getting the level for it. So let's see if I did. Uh, I did. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Right, let's see if casting a Firebolt is a task. It probably isn't, but 
worth the check. No? Okay, so casting a wave spell is, so once we get to 62, we'll get a free task for doing that. But, uh, yeah, this is not too bad of a method. Banking the willow logs, getting the runes, getting the uh, levels that we need. I'm definitely going to need some more money at some point, so I need to think on what's the best way to do that. But hopefully it won't be too bad. Nice, cheeky little wizard's hat. We also got some cosmic runes as well, so that's probably going to be... I can probably get a task out of those somehow, whether it's just imbue some jewellery or something. Oh, nice, that was a medium task, literally just to equip a black robe. <laughs> that's nuts. 40 points for that is crazy. I mean, we're going to get to 2,000 pretty quick and have to make a choice on the combat relic, so... Yeah, that's going to be kind of brutal because uh, that is a tough choice and all of them are good and all of them are bad. So, yeah, I'm kind of stuck for what I want to do, but I need to I need to solo. Ne I want to be soloing next. So, yeah, I need to kind of make the choices that's best for that. So one thing I've been thinking is what I want to be doing kind of at the end of this account is probably cycling through raids and stuff and just kind of having fun doing that. And I, I feel like if I keep in the PVM collection log slot thing, it's going to like actually like murder my progress because there's so many tasks that are things like um, going into Taverly Dungeon and doing X, Y and Z, going into Edgefield Dungeon and doing X, Y and Z. Loads of people use Souls, Soul Wars to get good amounts of XP. And I just can't do that because if I roll those chunks, I've got to go and do all these irritating, crappy boss grinds like Briar Fighter and stuff like that up until I get the unique, which doesn't seem too bad. You know, if you've got a seven times, uh, seven, like a five times drop relic, uh, but I can't, I won't have that because up until the point that you get really far in the game you're kind of kind of butchered in those things and because i have to get those things to move on in terms of the chunks that i have to do um i will never get to those high drop rates if you understand what what i'm saying so if i had to go and get a, a bright fighter's essence right now it'd be like a, a one in a hundred rate or a one in 50 rate or something like that which would still be a monumental grind just so that i could you know go into the Varrock sewers, for example. Um, and I, I just don't feel like that is a good use of my time. So I think what I'm going to do is scale back the PVM drops thing. Uh, so we're not going to go for the PVM collection logs. Um, what we will keep doing is doing the skilling challenges, these ones, um, which will encompass quite a lot of that because, you know, if I roll a... Uh, you know, like Abyss or Sire, for example, or, you know, I'll have to, well, no, that's a poor example, but <laughs> um, I guess it, what would it be? Like if I have to roll, uh, I guess something like uh, Cerberus, right? So if I rolled the Taverly Dungeon, I wouldn't have to go and get all of the Cerberus crystals, but I would have to get 75 defense to equip them and I would have to get 60 rune crafting to make them. Um, so, you know, it would kind of keep them on there, but stop me having to get the actual items myself, which could be a long time. So what I'm thinking with this is something like, say I unlock Chambers of Zarek, right? Um, is it fun to have to go and green log that straight away? Or would it be nicer to get like rigor from that and then go and do gauntlet for a bit, get Bofa and then go back to Chambers of Zarek with the Bofa and then, you know, get a get a, a Dragon Hunter's Lance and then go and, uh, you know, not a Dragon Hunter's Lance, go and get a Dragon Hunter's Crossbow and then go, oh, you know, it'd be good to go and get a Dragon Hunter's Lance and then go kill Hydra with the Dragon Hunter's Crossbow and then go back to James of Zarek and, and uh, you know, do it again down with the Dragon Hunter's Lance and and then, you know, get a Twisted Bow and then go, oh, I'll go do the Inferno, go do the Inferno, then go back to James of Zarek, you know, that kind of thing. That's kind of what is fun. So I think, you know, if I did unlock James of Zarek, I think what would be a nice middle ground is to have to get, you know, the 90 range to equip the twisted to equip, to equip the twisted bug get the 74 rain uh, get the 77 prayer to use augury uh get the 70 uh, 80 attack or whatever it is to equip the elder mall get those skills so i'm still it's still recognized that i've done that i've unlocked the raid and that i have to do the raid um to an extent and those items do exist for me but i don't actually have to go and get them and go through the like the 
bore lake of having to actually get the items in, in a really aids way when actually it'd be much more fun to kind of be, be able to chop and change between different bossing content uh, in a way that, you know, I could do them in more fun and interesting ways than just grinding it out in shit gear until I've com completely green logged it. So I'm going to take away the PVM green log section that I had at the start of the video. And I'm just realized I've done this whole thing whilst having like my top of the thing available. So let's scroll that down. Luckily, I don't have any porn videos on there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to essentially take that out, stick with the skilling challenges, basically only. I think that's the I think that's the only fun way to do chunk man in leagues in a time limited in mode. So I think probably get rid of the quests and the diaries as well because they don't really add very much, and basically just treat chunk man as skilling challenges only. Um, and I think that is going to be the fun way to incorporate that into leagues. Obviously, when I started this, I didn't know how leagues and chunk was going to mesh together. And I think to keep it fun and interesting, oh, back to the top because we're on the wrong screen now. There we go. Um, I think to keep it fun and interesting, the only way is to do skilling challenges only. I think if you add the other stuff, it, it takes too much away from what makes leagues good and fun. Um, so yeah, skilling challenges only from now on. That's how we do our chunks. But so we still have to get this 62 mage, which is taking a long time, I tell you. Um, so I think I'm going to have to come up with a better method. I still need to get the blood runes though, so this isn't wasted. I do have to get those. So yeah, let's uh, see how we get on. Or do I? Do I? Because we've just said that, you know, oh, I don't have to equip the Twisted Bow, I just have to get the 90 range. So do I have to cast the Wave spell? I think arguably I don't have to ca cast the Wave spell now. I think I just have to get the 62 magic. Um, I will I will actually get the Wave spell because I need... Um, it's like an 80-point task to cast a single Wave spell, so I will actually do that. But... I think I don't actually necessarily have to. So from now on, we're just going to be getting the skilling levels that it says in the in the chunk picker, and we're not going to be actually, you know, getting the items and equipping them and use, doing the collection log in that way. So I think that's a much tidier way to do it. I hope you guys agree. Um, yeah, let me know. Right, I'm kind of bored of doing magic for now, so what I'm going to do is go and do some clue scrolls potentially, and also set fire to all these willow logs. So I feel like that's probably a good use of my time. Got a tinderbox, get some willow logs, and uh, let's get setting these on fire. Um, I'm hoping there's a decent little path here that I can use, probably run all this way. I think you go east. You go east? Or am I making that up? Let's hope we go east. Okay, right, cool. So I'm going to... Uh, Oh, no, you go west. <laughs> okay, I'm a moron. Right, so we'll set fire to these logs, get that task for 100 willow logs set on fire, and then we'll go do some clue scroll. There is the burn 100 willow logs task. So that is nice to get out the way. We don't need to train any more uh, fire making. So what I will do is cut these willow logs into bows and sell them for some GP because we will need a bit more GP for this task, probably quite a lot more GP for this task, but hopefully we'll get something of uh, of interest whilst doing our clues that we can sell for something, but I really don't know. So let's crack open this easy clue and see if it's something we can do. Search the crates in Drain or Manor. So we don't have Drain or Manor unlocked, do we? No, okay, that's sad. Uh, let's crack this one open. No, can't go to Port Sarim. I probably shouldn't have unlocked the other area before doing this, should I? Yeah. Mm. Okay, this is annoying, right? Okay, let's let's just keep track of it. No. Yeah, okay, they're only fucking easy clues, aren't they? So it's not the end of the world. Charlie the Tramp in Varrock. I believe I can do that one, right? Surely. Surely. <laughs> it's going to be close if I can. Let's have a look. Okay, we can just reach, right, what does he want? Really needs a leather body. I think I can actually get that for him, right? Yeah, I think I can. Yeah, because I can kill the cows in uh, in Xanaris. So, yeah, I can get the cow hide. Can I tan it, actually? Ooh. 
Ooh. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Uh, oh, thank God for that. Right, no, I don't need to uh, craft it because I should already have some, shouldn't I, from killing the ham stuff. Yeah, there we go. I've only got one, but that'll do. Okay, so I can hand this into Charlie. Hopefully that's a one-step one beginner or we're going to probably be in a bit of bother. Okay, it's a Raldo step, which is just in there, but we can't go there for now. I do, I, I'm not too beat up about getting rid of so many clues right now, because I think just getting one done will be more useful to me, so I can't do that one. Let's have a look. Blow a raspberry. Gold ring, gold necklace. That's probably tough to get. Okay, yeah, that stuff's impossible to get for now, and what else can we get? I don't even know what that is. Wizard's Tower. Right, I'll keep that one just in case. And then what's this fella? Another Raldo one. So I'll grab this one. And then we can go from that. You can't pick up multiple, no. Okay, right, let's go. Right, there we go. We got the blood runes from the Dark Wizard. Good stuff. Now what we need to do is just keep training. So I guess probably the market guards are decent if I can safe spot them somewhere. Uh... You'd think you'd be able to safe spot them behind these benches, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so these might be decent because they've got decent levels uh, and going to be weak to magic as well. Um, yeah, we just need to get that 62 ASAP, really, don't we? Okay, new and genius idea, which is going to be going down the trapdoor here where I believe there are some zombies, and zombies drop quite a lot of herbs, which should be quite good for me. There's a guy splashing on the rat. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, these zombies are, what level, like 24. That's quite high, actually. Although the two over there look like they're lower. Two over there, th there's one level 13. Okay, it's two level 13s over there, so that might be a bit better. Uh, is there anything else here? I don't think so. Right, we are now pretty much out of runes, and we've just got 51 magic, which means we're going to have to go and get a decent bit more cash. Uh, shouldn't be too bad. I think what I'm going to do is do some mining and smithing for it, though, because, I will, because I'm going to need that at some point. And the woodcutting and uh, fletching, etc. is kind of pretty much already done. So I'm going to go do some mining. With the banker's note, it's going to be a lot, lot easier uh, than it was before. So that should be fun as well. Okay, so do you guys want to see a non-herb and tar uh, tick manipulation method? So what you can do is you run like this, you hit twice, and then you'll get this next rock like guaranteed super quick. Uh, again, so hit twice, and then go over here. So that only works with a steel bar. Uh, but because we're arriving at the rock at the end of the animation, it means that we get the, the a double roll, which means that we therefore like mine a lot quicker. Um, so yeah, you do the double hit, and over here, Oh, and then we, we missed the roll even with the double roll. So, uh, yeah, it's essentially just a way to kind of get extra extra hits with the steel pickaxe. So it's slightly quicker with other pickaxes, but this is uh, the best way with the steel pickaxe. Uh, like so, and like so. Uh, yeah, so that's just kind of a cool little tick manip method without any kind of herb and tar or anything like that, which I thought was pretty cool. It was really, really handy on the first day um, when there was like loads and loads of people here. Uh, okay, right, that doesn't work. Okay, like that. No, nope, like that. Okay, yeah. So when there was like loads and loads of people trying to get the iron, this was like the goat <laughs> to try and actually get it quicker. So I guess the way to think about what you're actually doing if you're not too familiar with these methods is so when you do 1.5 tick wood cutting you're actually doing three tick wood cutting but because you arrive and there's like an arrival delay when you stand there you get um an extra roll when you're wood cutting but because when you're wood cutting you can get a second log like you can get more than one log from a from a resource you can therefore essentially get yourself two logs at a time um, and that is why it's called 1.5 tick woodcutting, right? Because you're doing a three tick uh, action twice. Whereas with mining, you can't get two ores from one rock, right? So what you're essentially doing is the same. This is, this is if you think about it, 1.5 tick mining, except you can't get that second roll. 
Um, so that's why it's still called three tick mining. But what you do get is two rolls. So like this, when I'm not like guaranteed to get an iron like I would at higher levels or with a higher pickaxe, this essentially means that I get a lot higher XP per hour than if I were not doing this, if that makes sense. Yeah, so if ever you're doing a league again, say there's like everyone stood on these, just mining them straight away. So it will always take uh, about six six ticks, well, that looks like with a steel pickaxe um, to mine it. So people would just stand here like this, mine it over and over. Um, but what you can do is you can stand over here and say that's about to spawn and you go one, two, and then go in and then, well, didn't work there, obviously, because it just never does uh, when you want it to. Um, but you can essentially start your uh, animation at the copper and then nab the iron like straight away. Obviously, obviously now that's not working because I'm trying to show you, but like so. <laughs> so you can see how that works to uh, snipe or from underneath someone who's trying to uh, mine it the normal way. So as soon as that basically spawns in, you can just nab it off someone, which is quite funny. And there we go. So it's working quite consistently now. Uh, so that's really, really nice to just grab ore off people that are mining normally. <laughs> right, there's a guy here who's trying to grab the iron. So I might just have to uh, see if I can uh, bullshit him into uh, stealing some of his uh, rocks, which could be quite funny. Won't get this one, but I'll get the next one. See ya. Oh, he got it in rip. <laughs> oh, nice. We just got a uh, a geode. That's pretty good. We just re I just reset my um, XP counter because I wanted to see what the XP per hour is here. And it is about 225k XP per hour now that we're up to almost 50 mining. Uh, I'm not sure how many I'm going to bother to mine. But yeah, I think this is probably good in the long term anyway because sooner or later I'm going to have to get 70 mining i'm probably gonna have to get 85 mining sooner or later so yeah just uh getting getting some mining done is probably a good way to uh sort of multitask getting the gp that we need okay here is level 50 mining flying through it not getting tasks anymore but we, we kind of i should probably actually get 70 wood cutting because i think that's like a hard task that i'd get like 80 points for so that's probably actually worth doing at some point but i am very much enjoying this mining method i'm quite weird like that people i imagine most of my viewers think of me as being a like a mega noob because that's all i do on my extreme one chunk but i actually am a bit of a tick manip dork that uh i'm gonna really enjoy the later stages of the skilling grinds on this account uh because i am one of those weirdos right this is my first time having like a stacked up resource that i think is going to be quite hilarious to use because i've not actually done much of this so if i do that and then i want to go like like that, like that, and then go again, and then like that, and then like that, and then like that. Okay, this is pretty sick. <laughs> Loving this, right. So, God, you really don't get a lot of iron bars back there, do you? Although I am getting some extras put in the bank. Uh, it's so annoying that I know I can use super heat, but I just don't have that many uh, natures at the moment. Um, so I, it can be a bit tricky, but I should get a really decent amount of XP out of all of this. And crucially, a really decent amount of money, which is the main thing we need at the moment. Right, that is all our iron bars. Let's uh, just chuck that in there as well. Hopefully that goes. And then we're going to go back to Varrock and we're going to smith all of these into... Interestingly enough, the best thing to make for GP is actually iron plate bodies. So... Yeah, that's going to be the best thing that we can do for money, uh, but we should be able to do a pretty good method with these as well, and these should be better smithing XP as well. We're already up to 40 smithing, probably get like mid-40s from this. Cool, so one thing I do actually need to make is some, uh, what's it, some iron arrowheads, and I need a hammer, fuck's sake. Oh, it's only the tips, I thought I actually had to fletch them, or do I have to fletch them as well, and that's just an extra thing, I think that's it. 
So I'm actually going to drop those temporarily. Right, let's smith the plate bodies. So if I go like that. Oh, 5,000 XP. That's nuts, right? Cool. Let's go again. Oh, no, that's annoying. Cause I, uh, ugh, that's icky. Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I can't do four, five, five per invent as soon as I've got one in my, in my invent. So we've got 49 smithing from that, or 61 with our plus 12 boost, which is pretty cool. And what we're going to do now is grab all of the iron plate bodies from in the bank, all of the extra ones. There we go. Stick those in there. And hopefully that should be a decent bit of money. I'm hoping I can sell them to Horvik for slightly more than to the general store, uh, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Right, what have we got? 330. Oh, yeah, you can. Nice. Okay, so sell 50. What? Don't tell me. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, my God. I thought you could sell them one that would sell every single one for the top, but I needed to, like, spam click them one at a time. Oh, I've just wasted so much money selling all 50 of those. I'm so annoyed. Right, what I am going to do, though, is buy some stuff and sell it back because I need to equip some of this stuff like that. Uh, so I'm going to do this for now, buy this stuff, equip that, and sell that back. Oh, no, don't attack don't the imp. Uh, sell that back like that. And then do I need to do, I need, think I need to do like full mithril, don't I, which is quite annoying. Uh, oh, no. Oh, right, do I get anything for... Oh, I'm, oh, <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Right, so we've bought some more runes with the GP that we had. I'm so gutted about selling all those iron plate bodies 50 at a time. That was such an L of a choice, and I lost, what, at least 10k from doing that, which is gutting. But uh, we got some good levels, and we've also now got a good amount of runes, so we should, in theory, be able to get quite a lot of mage XP out of this. 750 total for the uh, nice 40-point bonus there. Uh, kind of flying through these levels now, like quite, quite quickly. Oh, cast level high al level alchemy was a task. Does that imply that low level alchemy was a task? Should we waste a nature rune on on low level alchemy? Why not? Okay, that was just a waste. <laughs> uh, super heat is probably a task as well. I I would guess. So I'll do that at some point as well. This grind has me kind of regretting picking the banker's note because if I'd gone fire sale, I could have done all of this with death runes like five times as quick. Uh, yeah, I mean, let me know if you think I made the right choice picking the banker's note instead of fire sale. And that is 50 combat, which is another 40 points. Very nice. So, uh, yeah, not too long now. Only four more mage levels to go. It is taking longer than I thought. This is... I'm going to say only, only 150k XP per hour, but in leagues that is, you know, really quite slow. Uh, but once we get this done, I'm, I think what I'm going to do, based on the clue scroll experience, I think I'm going to pick as many nothing chunks as possible and just unlock them all so to give me a sort of wider variety of places I can go rather than just immediately picking the next grind that I want to do. I'm going to try and pick as many low or nothing chunks as I can. Okay, I'm really tempted to just use this book on the mage, to be honest, because it'd be such a fat XP drop. Yeah, 7k. Um, I feel like the herbal levels are actually going to be pretty easy um, because I've got that plus 12 boost, so I think just speeding up this magic training is a good thing to do. There is level 60 magic, but two levels to go. Should be done in about 30 minutes. Oh, I've spent like all day doing this on and off, which is just a pain on this game mode. But I plan to be a bit more careful in the chunks that I'm picking in future so that we can really accelerate our progress quite a lot. Okay, we're pretty much at the end of the runes that we have so far. So I just need to go and buy some more. We're at 61 magic, so it should not take long. Uh, much longer. That's, this has been an arduous grind by league standards, obviously. On my regular extreme one chunk Iron Man in the main game, it's this is nothing. Uh, but this has been kind of painful on leagues, uh, and I'm, I'm getting so jealous of all the people that are doing like <laughs> actual PVM and raids and stuff, and here I am still just doing magic, which is a bit lame, but we'll get there in the end. So, here we go. Let's drop the Alk. 
There we go, 62 magic completed. And now we are 53 combat and we can also cast the crucial wind wave, which is an 80 point task for us, which is massive. Uh, so now we can also roll a chunk. So we've got 54 tasks and we're also on 1600 points, 400 points until the next relic. And the next relic is going to be one of the big, uh, you know, combat boosting ones. So that's going to be a huge one to get. Uh, the first thing that I'm kind of noticing when I'm looking in the bank is that our money situation is fucking shocking. The banker's note is good, uh, but it is costing us in terms of being able to level skills quickly via GP. So one of the main things we're going to be looking at when we go to the chunk picker is a way to get some GP and also just more map squares open. So now that we've unlocked Asgarnia, we can also unlock into the south farm we can also just teleport straight into uh falador which is a big one uh we've also got our games necklace teleport to berthorpe and also i believe we got the warriors guild and heroes guild via the necklace as well uh anything else that we have in and around here via the necklace i don't think so possibly trollheim i might check that one Yes, we do have Trollheim, which is huge. That means we can get quite close to... Oh, I've, I've just done all that without having it focused correctly again, haven't I? One sec. Yeah, so I could teleport to Trollheim if I wanted to, which is pretty big. So we've got a lot of new unlocks. I imagine... Is Catherby part of part of Asgarnia or is that Kandarin? I think that's all Kandarin. Um... Yeah, cool. I think that's pretty much the lot that I can just straight teleport to. Uh, but the main thing I'm going to be trying to do here is just unlock a lot of numbers and get a lot more just map squareage done. Uh, so, well, in, in having said that, let's uh, let's get to looking. We'll tick off the wind wave task. That's us done for the skill tasks, which is now the only type of task we're actually going to be doing. Uh, as per the new rules, which I explained earlier, so yeah, let's get to um, let's get to uh, unlocking some. Okay, so as it turns out, Heroes Guild is not a teleport that we can unlock, but the Crafting Guild is, which is an interesting one, and the Falador Park is as well. Although actually, I think teleport spot for that is there, so that is still in the same chunk. So. Right, first, I think I've decided. So the first task, uh, first one we're going to unlock is Musa Point. Just nice to kind of get a foothold in Karamja. Uh, there we go. And then I'm also going to unlock this one here, which is just going to be a level 40 uh, thieving grind. So let's go and do that. So if we can luck out and grab a Ranar seed from this master farmer, then we will get uh, then then we will get a forty point task, I believe. Uh, but if we don't, it's not the end of the world. Main thing we want to get is just that level forty real quick. Not my Rocky, sad. It'll be good to get the two hundred points from getting a skilling pet. Uh, hopefully we can pull that Ranar seed. It's probably pretty unlikely, but look at that. It's pretty. Pretty huge XP, isn't it? Not bad. Trickster does look very, very good, and I'm kind of jealous of the people that picked it because the free agility training and like the AFK uh, thieving does look very, very, very solid. Uh, but I do think the production master is just going to be better overall. We shall see, though. So that is level 30, level 40 thieving. And what we're going to do now is we're going to teleport to Varrock and we're going to run down to here and pick pickpocket ourselves a guard, which is going to be very nice indeed. So let's unlock these chunks. There we go. We'll also grab the crown jaw one. Cool, right, let's uh, let's just pickpocket one of these. Although, arguably now with the new rules, I don't actually have to do it. I just have to pick, I just have to uh, get to level 40, but we've done that now. It's a 40 point task anyway to pickpocket a guard, so worth doing. And that might be decent money for us going forward. So, right, let's unlock the next one. So with that, we've got that 40 thieving done, so we can now roll some more. So that is now rollable. That was always rollable. Okay, now that is rollable, though that's gonna be off the cards for a while. Let's show you why. Uh, yeah, that's, that'd be a pretty particularly brutal set. 
uh, the 85 mining and uh, 85 smithing in particular. So we will not be doing that. We'll be leaving that rollable for now. Um, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to unlock Falador for now. So where is it? My game knowledge on the map is lacking right now. Oh, sorry, it's because I unmarked it. Okay, so let's grab the Falador unlock and go to our new region. We need to get 40 defense. Mm. Yeah. How do you get the myth? That's the main thing. In fact, no, I'm going to not do that for now because that's just going to be a pain. Right, let me have a look. So there are a few things that we're going to unlock. So we're going to unlock we're going to unlock a couple of nothing chunks. So this is a nothing chunk which is going to bring up no skilling challenges. This is also a nothing chunk which is going to bring up nothing here. Oh no, it's, oh it's 40 mining and 40 smithing which I have both of already, so we'll tick those off. Uh, and then I'm also going to be unlocking the lumber yard as well, which is a nothing chunk. Uh, and then from there, I'm going to go straight across to here. We're not going to do Falador. We are, in fact, going to do Brimhaven, which is going to bring up, I believe, 40 agility. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me see if I am going to do that one second. So we'll go back to there. Uh, I'm going to see what comes up if I pick this chunk here. 35 cooking, which I have, and 43 crafting, which I also already have. Cool. Uh, and then what does the Barbarian chunk bring up? 70 crafting. Okay. Right, so we won't do that one for now. Uh, but what we will... Oh, that's because it's uh, got that in it. So, okay, so we'll leave that like that. And we shall then unlock Brimhaven, which is going to bring up a level 40 agility grind, I believe, only. Yes, so level 40 agility. Access the high level obstacles at the Brimhaven Agility Arena. So what I'm actually going to do to get that is do a few laps of Varric course and get the and get the tasks for doing that. Okay, there is 10 laps of Varric and we are but one level away from the level 40. So we'll just knock that out real quick and then we'll head over to Brimhaven. Okay, that is level 40 agility. Not too bad. Right, we're going to go to Brimhaven and then my plan is to kind of unlock the chunk to the north, which should then let me travel down to uh, Shiloh Village, which will be game changing for us. Okay, right, so we've gone to Brimhaven and yeah, 40 agility is done. We need to unlock this chunk here, but it's a bit of a rough one, so not entirely sure I want to do that just yet. So we're going to tick that off. And then we're going to roll for the wizard's tower. So the only thing that comes with this is 40 defense, which isn't too bad. But we can also do the task to kill the lesser demon in here. Uh, so let's go do that. I'm not entirely sure if Guardians of the Rift is going to be unlocked or not. If it is, that could be quite interesting for us. Oh, the wizard's tower is such an iconic spot, isn't it? So uh, yeah, let's head up here and see if the lesser demon is free handy if it was and it is see we are no longer day one vibes anymore so uh, I'm hoping 50 spells will be well 60 spells will be enough to get this thing down maybe it won't though this might have been a bad decision <laughs> okay there is that task oh it's four oh you get 50 points for that I thought you only got 10 oh that was well worth doing right okay cool only 270 points till the combat relic which is massive Okay, so Guardians of the Risk, uh, no, Guardians of the Rift is with uh, what's it? Is with Desert. So that is, I'm vaguely planning on picking Desert. So that would be a cool one to do in the future. Uh, but for now, we need to go and get that 40 defense. Right there we go. Task completed. 40 defense. What we're going to do now is go knock out some pretty easy tasks with the new areas that I have unlocked. And uh, just really sort of go from there, see if we can get up to uh, any useful relics. And then we're going to have a look at the chunk picker and uh, choose some stuff. And I've just been recording that all with the wrong screen regions yet again. Okay, I need to definitely make sure I don't do that in the future videos for fuck's sake. Okay, so I believe robbing from this tea stall is a task. There we go, an easy one. So we're quickly just going to smith a uh, bronze skirt and a bronze full helm. So we'll drop those bars, there's the skirt, and there is the full helm. 
Also going to teleport to Lumbridge and head into Death's Domain, which is over here. No, where's Death's Domain in Lumbridge? I swear there's one in Lumbridge. Hmm, one sec. Okay, yeah, here it is. Okay, cool, right. I thought I thought there was. Um, okay, that should be 10 points as well. Very nice. Uh, then we need to... Okay, we need to go back to Lumbridge again. And we need to go to and make a Whacker Canoe, which I think is actually going to be 40, which is pretty nice. Uh, I don't think I actually have to travel in it, but making it is pretty cool. Okay, here we go, making the Whacker Canoe. Next thing we're going to do is chop some regular logs from this tree here. Uh, which won't be too bad. Oh, you can... I didn't know you could fish trout and salmon here. That could be interesting for the future. Definitely relevant, I would say. Build a Whacker Canoe. 40 points. Not too bad. Right, what's next? Uh, oh, I know what's next. We need to nip around here again. And just grab ourselves a couple of willow logs because we need to make a willow shield and equip it. So let's grab this willow shield. Easy as you like. And equip that. That's another 10 right there. Might actually be better than that bronze square shield, to be fair. And then I need to pray at this altar to get an extra 10 for restoring some prayer points. Right, what's next? So I haven't done Tears of Guthix yet, and I'm not entirely sure if I can, but I can teleport there on Games Necklace, which might imply that you can. I'll give it a go. I'm not going to get a lot of XP because I've got a lot of level 1 stats, but... Oh, 43 quest points. Okay, so I basically need to unlock another area before I can do that. Okay, no worries. What I think I can do, though, is probably enter the cook skill. Do I need a chef's hat? Okay, right. I think I actually have a chef's hat in the bank, so I'm glad I got this chunk unlocked because that's going to be a handy 40 points, I believe. Okay, so good thing we got our chef's hats from uh, wherever it was. There we go, from the imps that we used, and now we're going to go to Varrock. And we're going to buy ourselves one singular death rune because apparently casting a blast spell works the same as that wave spell that we did, but it's for 40 points. So we're rapidly approaching that next relic, which is pretty cool. Okay, so let's cast a wind blast whilst we run past these Varrock guards. There we go. Cast a blast spell, 40 points right there. And then we're going to run over to the... Uh, sawmill and grab ourselves a singular plank because I believe that, that I think that's only a 10 but not too bad only 90 points away now there we go an easy task in the game and a leagues task 80 points to go and I just need to try and find something to do only 40 tasks until the next area as well that should come pretty quickly as well Okay, I'm not entirely sure how to insult Aggie, but we shall give it a go. Uh, you mad old witch, you can't help me. Is that probably a... Okay, nice. <laughs> so I'm now going to go and do some Brimhaven agility because uh, there's quite a lot of tasks from doing it. And also, I've never done it before, so that could be fun. Oh, I'm too poor to even do this. <laughs> that is bleak. Okay, right. So let's grab this. And go to Draenor. No, wrong one. See, this is why it's so tricky, isn't it? Right, Draenor, and I'm going to need to try and cobble together some coins. I'll tell you what, this is really AIDS with 40 agility. You just fail everything all the time. <laughs> Luckily, I just did those two in a row. So, like These ones, yeah, I just failed one of those like six times in a row. It was painful. Um, so hopefully this one will go a bit better. Oh, this is painful. Yeah, failed it again. I can't get more than one in a row. And you need to get more than one in a row to get an agility ticket. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Why am I 30 agility? Don't tell me this drains your fucking agility. Oh my god, it does, doesn't it? Oh, okay. Right, that makes a little bit of sense then. So, can I restore my agility in any way other than just failing things over and over so yes yeah, so i can't do that one because it's 40 okay that makes sense um can i do this one yes okay oh my god i think i might actually be able to do this one because i've done i've done this type of obstacle before it's really close come on <laughs> come on yes come on tag it yes Receive an agility arena ticket. God, that hurt. That was just, that was painful. Right, I might leave, I think, 
Do you get XP for just doing these over and over? Probably. That's not actually too bad, is it, XP-wise, though? What, when the next ticket thing comes up? Oh, okay, yeah, I can still get... I can still... So what, is it when you fail? It's not me drinking the wines, is it, that's draining the agility? No, okay. Um, so where do we think the next ticket's going to be? I guess logic says it has to be sort of this direction. Cool, so let's go this way. Yeah, see? <laughs> Fuck this. That's there, and you have to be 40 to do it, and, it, and I'm just getting drained by what failing agility courses? Who fucking knows? Okay, well, we got the ticket anyway, and that's the main thing. Right, can we actually buy anything of use? Okay, so a Snapdragon is 10 tickets, but I think if I trade it in for XP, I also get something. Oh, no, oh, no you've got to trade in like 30 at a time for XP to get something. Okay, right. So let's go see if we can do, find anything to knock out 60 points real quick. Cool, right, let's use the churn. That should be in here, should it? Is there a churn here? Um, oh yeah, there it is. Okay, right, so let's make some cheese, shall we? Why not? Probably gets the most XP. This is an incredibly long animation for no reason. Uh, many, many years later, we've churned something, but that didn't seem to get us anything. I don't think I've done that before. Hold on. And the reason is because you got to churn butter, not cheese. Okay, let's go get another bucket of milk. And that is that task. And the task to chop the tree in the potato patch, which would have been so much worse on day one versus day five as we are now. So that is also done. So there we are using a fairy ring, which should have, I believe, given us a task, and it didn't, so who knows what's going on there. And there is 50 implings caught in Pura Pura, which is also a medium task, which gets us our new relic. So I'm not actually going to unlock that until I've done the video, and I want to hear from you guys in the comments what you think I should choose. Melee could be cool. Uh, Archer, you know, range also could be very cool. Mage, Shadow's kind of OP. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of choices for either. So I really want to hear what you guys think and what you guys picked and why. So, uh, yeah, if you could drop that in the comments below, that would be perfect. 35 tasks until the next area. Let me know what you think I should pick as the next area as well. We've obviously got Asgarnia so far because I want to do some solo next. So maybe think of solo next as being what I want to be doing when you're uh, kind of telling me what you think I should do and what I should unlock next. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you next time. Just quickly before we go, we just got a bowstring from a young impling, which is very fucking nice indeed. So I'm, I'm going to start the next video with the tone.